Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. Where we're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a question and it's this. Have you ever said something about somebody that you shouldn't have said? Have you ever spoke bad about somebody and then afterwards you knew you shouldn't have said that? Friend, you don't even have to answer the question. I already know the answer. Well, I want to read you a scripture in Titus chapter 3, verse 2. It says this, Tell them not to speak evil of anyone, but live in peace with others, that they should be gentle and polite to everyone. The King James Bible says, Speak evil of no man. So according to God, we're not supposed to be speaking evil of anyone. And I want to emphasize that word, anyone. Evil just means bad. So this verse is telling us, don't speak bad of others. And I would just ask you the question today. How do you talk about others? What kinds of things are you saying about other people? Maybe people you know, maybe people you don't know. And then, as believers, should we be talking bad about other people? Should we be looking at a politician on the TV and calling him dumb or wicked or, you know, ignorant? Is that what you and I should be doing? People we know are friends. Of course, it's always behind their back usually when we talk bad about people, but should we be doing that? Should we be speaking evil and speaking bad of others? According to Titus chapter 3, we should not be doing this. Now, Romans chapter 4 excuse me, Romans chapter 12, verse 14 says this, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Now the word persecute means to mistreat or to harass. And what the verse is telling us is that when somebody mistreats you, when somebody's harassing you, don't curse them, bless them. Now one definition of the word bless means to speak well of. And that's very easy for you and I to understand because we've heard the term before, curse words. Well, curse words are bad words. Blessed words are good words. And what this verse is telling us is that when somebody mistreats you or harasses you, don't speak bad of them, speak good of them. Now, you just have to accept that by faith today. We want to be doers of the word, and this is what the word's telling us to do. So just because somebody mistreats you, just because somebody does something you don't like, doesn't give you a license to curse them, to speak bad of them, or to speak evil of them. In fact, the scripture tells us when that happens, when somebody mistreats you, when somebody does something you don't like, don't curse them, bless them, speak well of them. Now, why is this important? Well, you and I are supposed to be people of love. God is love and Christians are supposed to walk in love and we're supposed to be people of love. Well, if you are a person of love, then you want to see things go well for other people. You want to see them get into God's plan for their life. You want to see them follow the Lord fully and experience all the good things that God has for them. That's what it means to be a person of love. Now, you couple that with this truth, that your and I, our words, have power. The scripture reveals that to us over and over again. And you can say things about people that will either hurt them or help them. You can say things about people behind their back that hurt them. For instance, if somebody is acting ignorantly and and acting in a way that I don't approve of, and they're making bad decisions... If I sit there and use my faith and my words and call them dumb and call them ignorant, if that's what I speak over them, if that's what I speak about them, then my words are just reinforcing that in their life. You see, rather than do that, I can speak good over them. I can say, well, I'm just thankful that the Lord is speaking to them, that the Lord is helping them, and I call them wise and I call them following the Lord, I call them obedient to the Lord. And see, friend, if I'll do that, I'm speaking words that would help them 
And I do that because I'm a person of love and I want to make sure that I'm doing things that will help them uh, help things go well for them. I want to use my words to promote their prosperity and their well-being. I don't want to use my words to curse them and promote and enforce the bad things that are happening in their life. No, I want to use my words that are going to promote something good happening in their life. So I'm going to speak good things about them. See, you can call things that be not as though they are. You can look at somebody acting ignorant and call them wise. You can look at somebody that's not saved and wicked and call them saved and call them righteous and call them serving the Lord. And if you'll use your words to do that, oftentimes that allows God to get involved and cause changes to happen in their life. And that's what you and I want to see for people. So friend, I want to remind you of these three things as we're closing today. Number one, as believers, you and I aren't supposed to be speaking evil about anyone. Number two, if someone mistreats you or does something you don't like, that doesn't give you a license to speak evil about them. And number three, rather than speaking words over people and words about people that are going to hurt them, let's be people of love and speak things over people and speak things about people that are going to help them. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we've all made mistakes in these areas, and we just ask you to forgive us. Anytime that we've spoken evil about anyone, Lord, we ask you to forgive us, and we repent for it. And Lord, we make a decision today to be people who aren't going to be speaking evil of anyone. We make a decision today to obey your word in Titus chapter 3, verse 2, that we will not speak evil of any man. We are going to speak words over people. We are going to speak words about people that help them and that promote their prosperity and their success in the things of your kingdom. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Wednesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.